keep it secret, it's a different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me win, you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, all right? Today I'm gonna show you my new animations for my slasher build, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe, as liking up the video push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put you know the game for my daily uploads. But without further ado, let's hop straight into the video. So as you see, I'm here on my playmaking moves. I wanna go over here to my dribble styles first. So let's start off with the dribble styles. Now, again, we all know what my high flyer build, and I, I don't have, 75 speed with ball right so that's just i went 95 stream so i don't have that but um so i use gabby williams okay but if you have a slasher build and you're able to get 75 speed with ball then obviously pro dribble style is something that i use on my on my diamond slashing threat um so that's another animation that you can use the pro dribble style of course we all know about the magic johnson um dribble style also and the zach levine dribble style so those are the two magic johnson zach levine but or pro those are the ones that i've used but i prefer pro but you can try them out and see which ones you like but if you're someone like me that has a 95 strength build really solid build um and you don't have the 75 speed wall go with gabby williams okay um now let's go over here to the signature size ups the signature size ups there's many different uh styles that you can go with but the one that i ended up going with is uh where you at man Dwayne wade man where's Dwayne wade so i ended up going with d wade um again there's there's no right or wrong answer here i just feel like um, Dwayne wade is just a really good um signature size up that will allow me to be able to go to where i want to go on my left and my right side so that's what i went with my signature size up i know that jamal murray is another one that i like and again i also like john Morant, but i feel like it's just a little too wide and loosey-goosey right but um so D Dwayne wade and jamal murray are the ones that i was actually been utilizing and of course you know De'Aaron fox is also a good one now um, you can't go wrong with any of them. I just recommend you trying them out and seeing which style that you actually like the best But those are the signature styles um, that I've been using um, on my regular breakdown combo I mean that right there is going to be where you at Paul George. All right, my regular breakdown um, I'm sorry. It's gonna be Darren Fox. Where are you at? So I'm going with De'Aaron Fox and I don't even see am I missing my regular breakdown combo? Oh, there he is. I just passed him. Okay. Yeah, so Darren Fox um again it, it's 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 all about preference i do like the fact that um he does take a step back um it kind of resets me when i need to be reset if i'm going too far out and i want to get get away from the ball handler so that's what i end up going with De'Aaron fox there isn't anybody else as you can see that i've been purchasing um obviously pro is another good one that you can that i looked at but if i had to go i'm still gonna stick with De'Aaron fox and again pro might be the second best if you want to look at that um, the aggressive breakdown combos the Brexit breakdown combo is on um, Paul George I'm going with even though I have an 80 ball handle I just like the fact that he's attacking the basket so I go with the Paul George aggressive um, breakdowns and um, as you see I have a lot I love John like I said I like going to John Moran a lot but I just felt like again man that Paul George is the better animation so just that's just the stake that I'm using right now is the Paul George um, escape moves we already know the escape moves um, there's different ones that you can go with but I'm going with James Harden I love James the way that James Harden is the way that he, again as it taxes the basket and allow me to sig out of that especially when I go back for my um my step back so again James Harden is the one that I've, I've been utilizing I think some other people um you know love I don't I don't even know what you would go with because again I only have a 75 I'm an 80 ball handle so um I've been using James Harden so that's the ones I've been stuck with um and then when we come over here to the combo moves the combo moves I think is kind of like um I just think that Darren Fox is the best. This, as you can see, that 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 little between the legs and behind the back combination gives me a lot of space. As you see the game right there, between the legs, behind the back, it's a good separation. And when you have Bulldozer um, on Hall of Fame like I do, and you're able to, you know, just need to be able to get on somebody's shoulder, that little combination right there between the legs, behind the back, causes enough separation to where it's it's viable to me. So I use that. And again, that's just going left, right, really quick on the um. On the pro stick and that's going to give you that, that animation right there um crossovers crossovers is i mean everybody has, like i don't know if there's a right or wrong answer with the crossover i don't know if there's even you know a, a, a 
real one that's like, yo, this is the best one. But I go with De'Aaron Fox. I, I try to stick with De'Aaron Fox in a lot of my um, animations, as you can tell. But that's why I went Darren Fox. I don't know if, if, if there's a better animation. Let me know in the comment section. But I, I've been going with Darren Fox, um, and I barely do crossovers anyway. Like when you think about it, like if you're a slasher man. Once you get to the going to the basket, man, I'm, I'm my shoulder's down. I'm ready to go. Like once I'm downhill, there is no stopping me. But um, so Darren Fox is what I've been rocking with. Um, let me know in the comment section if you have something behind that. I'm better than that. Now, of course, when we come here, I'm using my behind the back. I am using. DeMar DeRozan, again, that is a really good separation right there. I love that big um, behind the back. You know, that's that old 2K20 behind the back. Remember, they actually took that out the game in 2K20. It was overpowered, but it's back in now. Um, another one that, of course, everybody likes to use is going to be, where are you at? Um, Jamal Murray, but again, you can go with Jamal Murray. So I do have Jamal Murray on my other build. To me, Jamal Murray is the best behind the back animation. Okay, so um, if you are, if you do have the ability, if you have an 83 ball handle, definitely go with Jamal Murray. And then um, if you have another animation I think is really good, that's going to be the James Harden. So I like the James Harden. But um, so again, if you have a, a 83, a 83, go Jamal Murray. If you have an 80 below, try either DeMar DeRozan or James Harden. OK, but right now I've been using DeMar DeRozan. I've been using it almost like 90 percent. Sometimes I put on James Harden just to figure out different sigs. But I've always seen myself going back to DeMar DeRozan. All right. Um, now for the spin moves again, like. The basic spin um, used to be a thing, but I don't even use that on this build. I like Penny Hardaway because it's so quick. And at the end of the day, like going downhill, um, being able to hit that little spin move and then go straight to the basket. Again, like I said, for me, it's all about getting separation. One thing about the spin is the spin does move north and south, but it also moves a little bit to the left and the right. So it's a really good animation to get separation going downhill. So that's the reason why I'm always been sticking with my Penny Hardaway. And then um, coming to the Hezzies, again, man, the Hezzies, I'm going with Pro Hesitation because, again, I feel like it's easier to explode out of that and the speed boost out of these. Um, so that's why I go with the Pro he um, Hezzy animations. I know there's other um, animations that people <clears throat> like to utilize, but I remember I used to go, I used to have um, John Morant, right? John Morant, you see how he kind of runs you all the way to the left, all the way to the right? I used to have that, but um, I just started to feel like, man, I don't know, that's not enough separation that I should be getting. So then I ended up going to pro because I said, you know what? I don't need to get out of separation. I just need to be able to find the ability to speed boost out of that. Um, so I'm able to do that with the pro dribble animation. I mean, hesitation. The step backs to me is only two step backs that matter, man. And that's going to be Chris Paul and John Wall. All right. So um, they're both pretty much similar, as you can see. It's kind of like the old LeBron James um, step backs. And here's John Wall. I get with I've been seeing myself more so equipped with John Wall, but I don't even see much of the difference. So like you know, you can go Chris Paul or John Wall, and um, you're not gonna see any difference in my opinion. I feel like John Wall gets a little bit more separation, so that's why I go with John Wall. But maybe that's just all in my head. But um, yeah, those are the step backs that I'm using. And then last but not least, triple threat styles. I don't even know if there's even a right or wrong answer in these, but I just went with Kobe just because I felt like, you know, hey, Miss Kobe, man, who else is better being in that, in that position going to the basket? As you see, I do have Zion Williamson attached too. Um, I don't know if there's much of a difference. I haven't seen anybody come out with the triple threat styles and tell me what's a good one, what's not. But until then, I had the Zion and I have Kobe Bryant. So those are the two styles that I've been utilizing. And then, of course, flashy passes. Only thing I have is a no look. I like using it sometimes for my no looks. And then I know I didn't talk about passing style because I don't have the ability to get a passing style on have like a 70 pass accuracy but if i did have a pa passing style of 75 i probably would still just go basic or just maybe like um john Morant. and then of course we all know like by working your way up you know um, um tyrese hilliburton is the is the best um passing style but that's an 89 and i, I doubt slashes will have that but anyway those are my dribble um style animations let me know in the comment section what you feel about that and as usual your, your favorite old head uncle demi i'll be back really really soon with the banger man you know when i say back soon on the banger you know exactly what i'm talking about i'm talking about tomorrow man i'm out